Good morning, guys. How you guys doing? Check out my little Mustang right there in the front. Boom. This is my Kia Sorento, cool little seven seater. Just came back from its rental. Um, we're actually on a, on Lincoln right now. We're, we're close to our to our lot. And uh, I'm actually gonna show you guys real quick as we pass by where we get our mechanic stuff and done and where we get our tires or anything that has to do with tires, wheels, or alignments. Um, so uh, thankfully we, we do have a lot of people that we can go to. However, I do try to stay close because if it's a last minute thing, it's something that I want to, you know, not have to travel an hour, 30 minutes to take care of. Um, so this is right behind our lot. And check this out. This is LV Tires. Great people. And LSD Motorsports. Great people to work with. Love coming here. They always take care of my cars. They do my oil changes. Uh, they do my tires. They do everything. Everything that I need, they always take care of it. And then I also have a body shop that I take out the cars to whenever, you know, we need to hit the body shops. And that's my boy Anthony at Roadrunner Auto Body. So I'm going to drop some Instagrams for you guys to follow, right? So uh, maybe in the comments or in the description or whatever. But uh, I actually wanted to go over something real quick. I wanted to talk to you guys about my 12 car fleet um, and let you guys know kind of how each car does. So... This is one of my cars in the 12 car fleet. However, this is off Turo because it has a recall that has no remedy. Um, anybody that has a, well, I mean, I don't know, cause I have a Kia K5 and I have a Kia Forte and those have absolutely no problems. But uh, this Kia Sorento got hit with a recall. And right now that I'm thinking about it, my Honda Civic also got a recall. So we'll be taking the Honda Civic out to the dealership. Hopefully they have a fix for it. Hopefully it's quick. This car has been off a of Turo for a month. And let me tell you, it fucking sucks. Um, thankfully, I've slowly, even before this happened, I was already slowly going into private rentals. So I have the commercial insurance and everything on them. But man, do I push this one for private rentals because this just doesn't get any Turo rentals. And thankfully, for the last month, even actually, thankfully, this last month, this car got booked out um, or in December, right? This car got booked out for three fucking weeks. Um, and it made like about 1900 bucks. My charger also got booked out for three weeks and that one made $2,400. So I was like, oh, thank God. So they've been off a of Turo for a bit. But they've been making money nonetheless, which is the most important part. Man, let me put my seatbelt on real quick. Oh, damn, my bad. Um, but uh, what I actually want to talk to you guys, like I said, about was was a 12 car fleet. Um, I have mostly economy cars and SUVs, which is honestly what I recommend if you're starting off your fleet. Economy cars and SUVs, those are gonna be your blanket. And what do I mean? What do I mean about a blanket? Blanket is basically for me is a car that I know no matter what is gonna get booked out nonstop. Um, so in other words, economy cars. You know, economy cars do really, really good. Oh, park this bitch somewhere back here. I don't want to be around people. Um, but economy cars do really, really good to be honest, and I think that's really important to start off with. I know everybody wants to get into, you know, something nice, whoop -de -whoop, whatever, but um, economy cars are really going to make it so when the other cars the, that you want to book out or the other cars, you know, that are a little bit more expensive aren't doing as well because of the season or whatnot, econ economy cars help keep you afloat. Um, I have two Toyota Camrys. I have a Honda Accord, Honda Civic, and a Honda CRV. I have a Kia K5, Kia Forte, and a Kia Sorento, and a Mitsubishi Outlander. I think those are all my economy cars. Because after that, I have the Charger, the Audi, and the Mustang. And I'm missing a car. The Charger, the Audi. I don't know. I'm missing a car. There's 12 cars. Let's try that again. Two Camrys, um, Honda Civic, Accord, and CRV. Kia K5, Kia Forte, and Kia Sorento. And we got the Audi, the Charger, the Mustang. That's 11. And the Outlander. Boom. The Outlander. So that's a 12 car fleet and the motorcycle, right? And the motorcycle. Um, but that's something I definitely recommend. You guys have to pick up playing at cars. Cars that are always going to get booked out. Cars that are always going to, you know, keep the cash flow coming in. 
Um, me personally, I would start. So, based off of my experience, um, most economy cars will do anywhere from like about eight hundred to twelve hundred dollars a month. Which is why I like to keep my economy cars anywhere between between a three hundred to a four hundred dollar payment. Yes, I finance all the cars. All my cars are financed. I make payments on every single one of my cars. Um, all twelve cars are financed. Uh, ten of them are under my name. Uh, actually, ten of them and the motorcycle are under my name. Uh, the Kia Forte is under my little brother because it was originally gonna be his car. Um, and the Mitsubishi Outlander I actually managed for someone that I sold the car to a couple years, uh, probably like a year ago or so, maybe a little bit more. Um, but the importance of having economy cars, because I think about it this way. Let's say you have five economy cars. So they're making you roughly about five grand a month, right? 400, 400, 400, 400, 400. So you're, damn, my knuckles are ashy. So you're losing about two grand in payments, right? Anywhere from 300 to 400 bucks. Five cars, you're losing two grand in payments. So you're making three grand take home. So now with that three grand take home, you can pull the trigger on the charger. After obviously, you know, you've, you've kind of like rode the wave, you see what it's like. You can pull the trigger on the charger on something nicer that is attractive, that can get booked out. You can book it out and it'll still make enough money to cover the charger just in case, let's say, the charger doesn't do well. Now, I think chargers and challengers, those cars do absolutely amazing. You don't have to go for high trim levels or anything. Um, you, you just got to go for a V8. I think the V8 chargers, you get more money out of them, right? Because uh, a lot of people, a lot more people want to rent it out. And not only do you get more money out of them, they're also very easy to maintenance. They're not the high-end uh, SRTs or anything, so uh, odds of them getting stolen are slimmer. Slimmer. Not non-existent, right? Because people still do shady shit. But you want to make sure that, you know, you want to limit, like, liabilities. You want to limit your risk. Um, obviously, because this is a high-risk business, it, it, it makes it a little tough. So anything that you can limit your risk on... Is something you want to do my camry's do well my camry's make about uh my silver camry actually makes a little bit less my silver camry's a 2018 is more equipped than my blue camry but my blue camry looks nicer has less it's actually a base model camry but it looks so much nicer so it gets booked out a lot more uh now i think i've had both cars september october no three months and i think uh, the Camry, the blue Camry is averaging about like 1100 bucks a month and the silver Camry is like about 900 bucks a month. Regardless, they're both making their payments. Um, they cover that insurance. Honestly, gas um, feels like you're putting out a lot, but most of it is just reimbursement. So you're getting that money back. So it doesn't really feel like I'm, I'm spending too much on gas, although I know I am. Um, but that's honestly something... If you're starting your fleet that you want to stick to economy cars get a little blanket of them get four five six economy cars that you know are always going to get booked out right so honda accord honda civic uh honda crv all economy cars in an suv two camrys uh all my kias those are all economy cars right so those are like my blankets um for when i wanted to kind of experience with the must experiment with the mustang experiment with the charger um and the audi well the audi was i just had it to begin with but that's really my main point. I, I really think if you're going to start this business, take it from someone that, you know, is starting it just kind of like you guys. If, if you guys are interested, you got to get your blanket cars. You got to get your economy cars. Those are going to basically be the the, the 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 foundation of the business, you know, um, without the economy cars. I'm not saying you can't just jump into a charger or something like that. I'm just saying it's a little bit scarier because a $300, a $500 payment is a little bit higher than a $300 payment, you know, and then those 500 starts to add up little by little. So if you don't really know what you're doing, it might be a little scary experience. And I'm not really trying to set you guys up for failure or anything. I'm trying to be as, you know, straightforward as possible um, and trying to, you know, hopefully I help. I think the, the main point of this is I just want to help one person that kind of wants to get into it maybe. And hopefully I can properly guide them. Because when I was trying to start this out, everybody on YouTube, if you guys 
see people on Turo that that are big on YouTube, basically the first people that come up or the first type of videos that come up whenever you look up anything Turo related, um, they've already made it. They, they, they're like very, very well established, right? So I feel like they forget or they don't mention some of the very basic stuff that I didn't fucking know when I first started. So this isn't a, a hands-off business. I'm, I, I quit my job, right? So I, I took a leap of faith. I quit my job and I started this. But this is something I've been looking into for such a long time. I've probably seen every single video on YouTube, every single good video on YouTube that has to do with Turo from most hosts. And um, I kind of have a plan. I kind of, there's something I want to do. I'll probably tell you guys a little bit more about that plan in, in, in a later video. But blanket of cars man you, you need your economy cars you guys need to pull the trigger on economy cars um and here's a cool little gem if you pull them all out within the same month you can get one two three four five as many cars as you want all within that same month it takes about 30 days for that shit to hit your credit so let's say i go to kia and i pull out a car and then i go to honda the next day and i pull out another car it's not going to show on my credit yet so I can go to Chevy, I can go to Dodge, I can go to Ford, I can go to Nissan, I can go to Toyota, I can go to Honda and a whole bunch of other places and get financed with a whole bunch of different cars that I want. Um, now, me personally, nowadays, I don't really do it like that. Nowadays, I just go to one dealership and kind of pick out a whole bunch of economy cars from them. But I do, before I do that, I do make sure to get a pre-approvals for two big loans, right? So let's say this next uh, go around when it comes down to cars, I really want to pull out a whole bunch of economy cars, but also want to pull out maybe like a vet or something. So the economy car is like I said, a blanket, right? Helps give me a bigger blanket. But the vet does a lot of helps do a lot of marketing. That's actually the reason why I pulled the trigger on the charger. The charger really wasn't meant too much to to rent out, although I really did want to get it rented out. The charger is more for social media um what would you call it? Like marketing, just to get more people attracted. Um, bring more attention to the page because really i mean you gotta you gotta you gotta think about it you know no one no one's amazed by a by a toyota camry no one's amazed by a little honda civic but you know if, if you some people really like chargers it, it attracts people you know it's a big va it that that thing attracts people so it gets a lot of social media attention and that's the reason why why i push the charger a lot on social media so i push the charger the mustang and the audi all three of those i push a lot on social media and the motorcycle because everybody wants one of those, you know? But then the, the blanket cars are what kind of keeps me, helps me keep me afloat and stuff. So, like I said, this next go around, what I'm really thinking about doing is getting a couple more blanket cars. God willing, God willing, right? Because you always got to, you know, you, you leave everything to the to the hands of the higher power, but you also got to do your work, right? God, hmm, I don't want to get into that, but God willing, right? Uh, I'll, I'll be able to pull out maybe hopefully 10 cars and one of those will be the vet so i'll get a whole bunch of blanket cars economy cars suvs and then a vet and um hopefully that'll help the business a little bit more make it a little bit more interesting bring in a little bit better marketing as well but yeah guys that's that's basically kind of what i want to wanted to go over with you guys your blanket of cars you need to get your economy cars um if you guys are interested let me know and i'll make a video on how you guys can pull a couple cars all at the same time from either different dealerships the same dealerships and i'll give you guys little insights on that if that's something you're interested in doing you know drop some comments let me know thank you guys for checking out the video thank you guys for you know watching me for however long you guys watch me i'll try to make these videos shorter because i know the last one was about 30 minutes and that was a lot of like putting shit together but yeah thank you guys for watching let me know what you guys want us here in the next video deuces